outside of his netted arena, 10 teenagers are ready to face off in a match of drone soccer. The sport requires a remote control instead of a ball. Sophomore Audrey Rust grabs onto her remote, eagerly waiting to make the first move. It's really fun, kind of chaotic, really crazy. Russ and her team of five will play three three-minute rounds. During those rounds, the goal is to fly their drones into opposing goals as many times as possible. Winner is decided in a best out of three. Well, I kind of put aerospace engineering, R RC is kind of like another version of that that's more kind of scaled down in a way. And this isn't the extracurriculars of your high school days. Sato Academy's drone soccer team is the first high school team in Long Beach and California. It requires focus to know a thing or two about aerodynamics and a bit of a competitive edge. Like when it crashes into something, it has a certain reaction. So we learn about that and like how like the gyro works and how the accelerometer like reacts to certain things and how that impacts our performance when flying. And before drones go up in the air, these teens must first learn to build, program, fly, and repair their drones. Okay, do you guys know where you're going? Once upon a time, Albert Gallo used to be an aerospace engineer. For more than 30 years now, his mission has been to inspire the next generation of aerospace engineers, the creative approaches like drone soccer. There's a huge shortage now in Long Beach for engineers, aerospace engineers. So we're hoping that this is going to spark something in them. Gallo says he found the idea to bring the innovative sport to Long Beach while flipping through the pages of an Academy of Model Aeronautics magazine. You know, you don't have to be, you know, the athlete or the best, you know, phys physically fit person. You're using your head, your mind. So he recruited a few kids, trained them, and within months turned them into the goats of high school drone soccer. Like looking at their faces, they're, they're so focused because there's so much going on in the state in the, the arena that they're not only trying to keep their eye on their drone but they're trying to see what their teammates are doing it's that look on their faces that reassures mr gallo that students like russ know that there is a place for them in the sciences i feel like it's really important especially being here at a middle school showing them like oh there's a bunch of girls on this team that are, that are probably going to grow up to be engineers doing a bunch of good things because at the end of each flight the real lesson these kids learn is that the sky isn't the limit. To support Sato Drone Soccer and our continued growth, please scan the QR code and donate to our GoFundMe campaign. Thank you.